Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Dyslexia Showcase in association with Microsoft and Made by Dyslexia here at Millfield School. It's wonderful to bring together so many influencers, successful dyslexics, so many local schools here who could really get an insight into how easy it is to support dyslexic children. If we can even just communicate to people what it means to be dyslexic, then organisations will better understand, schools will hopefully better understand, they'll be able to train teachers to better understand, and it will just spread its way down. With dyslexia comes this incredible pattern of strengths. The world is changing, technology is going to enable us to empower these children, it's going to enable us to empower teachers with awareness training um, and the knowledge to be able to support these children. But most importantly, we're in a situation where all of the skills that dyslexics have are hugely valuable in the world. We need to do a better job in schools to ensure they're delighted and excited through education so we can hire them, so we can get the best workforce. You don't get paid in this market for the qualifications you have. You get paid for the value you bring. And when I realised that, I started to think about what are my dyslexic strengths then? What am I really good at? Dyslexia, it's actually a skill and a talent and an attitude and a set of abilities that, that make you work and think differently. If I'm honest, I just thought well, everyone was like this. <laughs> Communication and storytelling and the ability to have high emotional intelligence and understand people. People often have said that they think I've got an information rejecting brain because if it's not relevant, I can manage to not let it go in. And if I can explain to people how my journey went and that it is totally achievable for people to go from absolutely not being able to, to pass through mass to, to managing significant amounts of money for major organisations, then hopefully if I can inspire one or two people in that area, then that for me is, is, is really worth it. Successful people know how they learn best. At no point has anyone said, because I could spell correctly, it enabled me to be successful in my business. If we have an examination system which focuses purely on terminal learning and has massive emphasis on spelling, punctuation and grammar, we are at that point alienating those children. If you are dyslexic, then it automatically puts a barrier in front of your learning. I think it's really important, uh, therefore, to put strategies in place and, and take away any barriers so that that child can reach their potential. Like many dyslexics, I, I much prefer coursework. I can spend as much time as I want doing it and I'm not held back. The exam and the assessment system is, is stuck in a time that is just not reflective of what the modern world needs. Robot minds that can pass exams are not the types of minds that the future needs dyslexics are. This is the generation that's going to solve the big picture problems. They're absolutely the creative thinkers, the problem solvers, they look at things at a lens I can't even understand. They're creating the world of tomorrow and the one I want to be in. I take history, English and philosophy so essay based A levels, so uh, it should be a dyslexic's uh, worst nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> I use um, the speaking, so I, I speak into the iPad because um, there's like some words that I can't type. You can see there on the screen I have some text. So how can I change this to make it easier for me as a dyslexic to read? We can pick out our nouns, our verbs, our adjectives and our adverbs. For the English teachers in there, it's good because I have no idea what adjectives, adverbs and verbs are. Every week I'm learning new things. These are tools that will make learning easier for all pupils. Sitting with the pupils on the panel for me was just incredible. They spoke so brilliantly and you saw them meeting their barriers and removing them for themselves. I have not seen the technology advancements and so coming here is really eye-opening. When you look at how Microsoft are working together with Made by Dyslexia, really trying to make it possible for every child to get what they need is really exciting. The Dyslexia Awareness Training modules that we launched just at the end of January have been viewed by 99,000 teachers. That is unbelievable. I do think that we need to be part of a positive lobby. I do think we need to engage uh, with government. I do think that if you're a teacher, uh, you need to get online and undertake that free course. If you're a school, 
uh, you need to become accredited by Made by Dyslexia. All of that will help to level the playing field and to make this a fairer and more inclusive world. I hope people will have the courage to stand up and say, you know what, the education system isn't working and we all need to come together and support it. There's a real movement building and we're just really excited about creating global change.